Now the previous uh, derivation was for a single blade row, but most real compressors and turbines are multi-stage machines. And a stage is just a combination of two blade rows. One rotating and one stationary. Here, let's just consider a single stage compressor. So, two blade rows, one rotating, one stationary. So, you might wonder why have non rotating blade rows? Well, recall what the purpose of a compressor is. The purpose of the compressor is to raise the fluid pressure. So, to think about this some more, let's just consider incompressible flow. Then, if we're in the frame of reference of a specific blade row, we can apply Bernoulli. For the ideal case, and write that PT is P plus one half row u x squared plus u theta squared plus u r squared is equal to a constant in the relative frame of reference. So since the goal is to maximize pressure, from this equation we can see that we want to minimize the velocity. That means we want to eliminate swirl, which is the theta velocity. And that is where the rule of the stator in a compressor comes in. And the stator is just what we call the non-rotating blade row. The rotating blade row we call the rotor. So again, for a compressor, the rotor does work on the flow. So therefore, from the oil or turbine equation, u theta is increased. Then the stator straightens out the flow by removing u theta. And therefore the pressure increases. The rotor and the stator work together in a stage to raise the fluid pressure. The tool used to see how the rotor and stator affect the fluid inside the stage is called a velocity triangle diagram.